I'm not certain I would ever describe what I have as balance. I think that uh, at any day I am shifting priorities and trying to keep a whole bunch of balls up in the air. Um, I think that uh, the practice I have ha is very demanding in terms of long hours and hard work and, and particularly my clients um, know that I'm there for them. Uh, but I also think it's extremely important to be able to take a break from that and to be able to um, recharge, spend time with your family, your friends, pursue interests that have nothing to do with law, because um, I think that makes me a more valuable lawyer at the end of the day. I think that um, I would tell uh, young lawyers that they shouldn't be afraid to delegate away as many things in their life that are not important to them and really just pick the things that are most rewarding for them and, and you know don't try to be perfect in all aspects of your of your life. I think as a female lawyer um, we are often not very comfortable tooting our own horn and I think that um, public recognition is not something that I um, personally seek out um, but I think that having this achievement is certainly something that's extremely public and, and does give me that spotlight that I wouldn't naturally um, look for. So for me, it, this is a, um, maybe a little overwhelming. As a partner at the firm, I think that um, I have a very strong view about the, the path the firm needs to take. I have a personal stake in what will happen at the firm and um, uh, I am not shy about expressing my opinions about where that should go. I think that taking on a management role within the firm is certainly something that would appeal to me, but I'm also conscious of the fact that uh, it also means that you'd be um, having to put aside to some degree what you are able to do on a daily basis for your clients. So um, that's maybe something I would look at uh, a long time down the line in the future. So I became a lawyer who specializes in the investment management industry, which is a little bit obscure, I'll grant you. And um, I don't think I went to law school saying that that was the type of lawyer I wanted to be. I actually think it was um, the fact that at age 18, I got a summer job at Canada Trust as a receptionist in their um, estate and trust group, actually. And uh, my manager, the next year, I approached her and asked, could I get a job? again with her and she said sure but I'm going to this investment management area that we're developing at Canada Trust. So uh, she actually uh, brought me along with her and I spent about five summers working in the investment management area of Canada Trust. So lo and behold when people started to look at my resume uh, they didn't believe me when I said I wanted to be a litigator. They said no corporate and, uh, and I ended up putting together you know that past work experience which was at one point just a good summer job with uh, the area that, I'm at, that I now practice in.